Hello and welcome to Infinity. I've got some more free macros for you. It's this one here called Dave's SC Grading Analogous. And it's the continuing series of these others here, so it works in very much the same way. You can get to it through the link down below, I'll give you the download page, and you get the .macros file. You can either drop it onto here or go to the library, which you can get through view studio and library here and then just go to this here hamburger at the top and import macros and you can get to it that way anyway if we open it up we've got a whole bunch here of analogous color scheme colors and let's have a look at some first if you click on one here see that goes emphasizes magenta red and yellow which are adjacent colors on the color wheel and this one here gives a more intense version so there's this one here and so on and you can just click down through these you can play with rotating the, with in the shift in the same way as others it will make a you know a significant difference to it you can see what happens uh, and you can always cancel it or hit escape and it will drop out it'll only keep if you hit accept in fact, if you click one of these and hit accept, or just apply, sorry, then you can always open this up here and you've got an HSL before and after and a selective color. It suggests you leave that, um, but it's up to you. Just go and play in there. And of course, you can always hit, hit delete to get rid of it. Looking at this in terms of what it does here is if I click on the magenta, red, yellow, what, look, at that's up here. Look what happens. See the way it kind of puts a lot more emphasis? The red's got a lot bigger, that centre colour, and it's pushed the other's colours down. So if I cancel that, you can see the way that happens. That's like almost like this is being given a shove downwards. And if I go to this one, the next but same magenta red yellow, it sounds triadic. It's triadic because it's got three colours in it. It's literally dominating all the other colours. Note, by the way, that the blacks and whites, the monochromes, uh, remains so you can see what's there it just suddenly doesn't go like as, as funny as this particularly looks here and you can again you just see the way these work when you get down to the adjacent tertiary ones this is now doing if we cancel this out here just like a three close ones here so there's kind of 30 degrees apart and so it's a bit more subtle both of these are, are almost like emphasizing one color, a bit like the monadic, but with kind of a wider spread to them. And you can see what they're like just by clicking on them. Go to a picture, say, for example, these. We can say, what about orange, yellow, lime, or yellow, lime, and so on. You can always say, turn down the strength on it, which is just the opacity. So when you apply that, that appears. If I click on this one here, there, it's exactly the same thing. So I can still do that there as well. So there you go. There's a couple of dozen macros doing this, relatively simple, but very useful for just trying different things. You just literally click on things here one at a time. You can always go to the ones up here. You've got them uh, install this. They're free in the resource page. So I could go to say that dyadic one and you can get to blue, yellow and orange and teal and so on from that. Anyway, there you go, and thank you very much for watching.